All right. Well, welcome back to the stream. Well, welcome back to another video. Today, today we're going to get into a variety of topics. But this first one, we're going to talk about the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 markets and why I feel like even though even though a price drop, a price decrease just happened, I think another one is right on the cusp or on the future because a couple of things that I'm noticing with this price drop and price decrease. But before we get into, and we're going to get into a lot of different topics, but before we get into any of that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can get the best Tesla buying guide out there that has all the best interest rates and credit union rates better than Tesla financing. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to my latest Patreon member. We got Vikram. Thanks for joining. Thanks for supporting. If you want to check it out patreon link down below in the description or the youtube join link so let us take a look at this let's let's step back a little bit and take a look at what we're, we're talking about we're talking about the model y and the model 3 and currently right now yes there was a price decrease what almost almost four days ago right last past thursday the model y dropped about two thousand dollars across the board board and then also of course there was an introduction of the model y standard range at 49.990 on the model 3 side there was basically a one thousand dollar reduction across the board uh and, and then but no reintroduction of a model 3 long range model 3 long range was 49.990 before all of this and we're speculating it's like a 48.99 zero price pain price point but we'll just get into it right so model y right now i really feel like there's going to be some sort of upcoming price reduction or price decrease and here is actually why so if you take a look at these inventory charts what do you notice inventory is going up and it keeps going up Granted, this is April, which is the first month of the second quarter. We know Tesla works in quarterly functions or quarterly fashions where they try and sell as many vehicles every single quarter. And I guess maybe this first month, there's not too much of any sort of, I guess, uh, initial push or aggressiveness to try and sell some of these vehicles but inventory is starting to spike up to levels where we haven't seen in a while or at least we haven't seen in a long time and this is interesting right because there was that massive or not massive but two thousand dollar price chop across the board on all model y's so even though there was a price decrease, inventory is still going up. That might mean, I mean, that usually means or what that could signal to us is that demand isn't necessarily there or there's too much supply for the actual demand. And the, really everything is checking all the boxes for Tesla, like the 7,500 federal tax credit that is supposed to get shaken up on April 18th is still around and it seems like it's still going to continue past April 18th, April, April, April 18th at least for the Tesla Model Y. On the Model 3 side, though, of course, it's a different story entirely in terms of the tax credit. The Model 3 standard range all-wheel drive is slated to lose half of the tax credit at $37.50. And so that potentially could have an effect on the demand as well. But Model Y should stay strong, right? I guess what they're saying about sales being pulled ahead from summer because of the 7500 federal tax rate potentially going away it potentially could have had an effect to try and sell some of the vehicles last quarter i mean tesla had a phenomenal first quarter at least in the across the global markets but uh you know this is pretty interesting that inventory is starting to steadily spike up just a little bit so if we take a look at the inventory mix right because that's what's most important that's what shows how strong certain model lines are or murdered model trims are we can see there's a lot of health or a healthy spread between the inventory. We've got 205 long-range all-wheel drives. We've got 120 all-wheel drives, uh, Model Y all-wheel drive standard ranges, but only 30 Model Y performance. So if you need a car quick, then the best bet is to always try and go for a Model Y performance because they try and sell those very, very, very quickly or really go to waitingfortesla.com, try and find an inventory vehicle that's out there, try and lock it down, and then try and take delivery ASAP. And so I certainly feel like 
like we've got some room. And according to, to this Tesla price history tracker, the Tesla Model Y still has some room, at least in terms of like the range that Tesla has charged for these vehicles in the past. We can see the Model Y long range in this row right here has actually been as low as 49 thousand dollars or specifically 48,990. So I'm not saying Tesla will go to that price immediately, but uh, I mean, it's definitely within their range, right? So I mean, also back then there wasn't a Model Y all-wheel drive standard range. So that's only three to four thousand dollars from where the price is right now. And of course, back in uh, when that price was the Model Y was 48,990, the tax credit also was not around at that point. I think it expired or it ran. It sold too many vehicles at that point. So I think it, it was already nullified at that point. So people couldn't actually get it. So pretty interesting stuff. Right? I mean, inventory is starting to spike up. And if inventory keeps going higher and higher and higher, we know what Tesla's play is. We know what Tesla's move is or their strategy. It's either discount or or offer some sort of incentives that could be 10,000 supercharger miles, 20,000 superchargers, the supercharger miles, they've even done unlimited supercharging within a couple of years or things like that. And then of course there's free option credits in the in the book or in the play there's a, a variety of different strategies that tesla can pull from their from their back pocket i mean at this point the model y is going to be what almost three years old so then maybe they could add even like trade-up credits like hey trade in your model three for a model y and get an extra two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars whatever the case may be they've got a lot of strategies but jumping to the model three side we did have a slight dip in vehicles or sold vehicles that was probably because of the last thursday's price drop where people started to transact and wanted to actually buy these vehicles. But you can also see that inventory is also starting to steadily go up and up and up as well. So is there a price decrease in the near future for the Model 3? I would say so. One hundred percent because right now the model y standard range is slated to lose that half of that tax credit down to 37.50 but the model 3 performance is it's at it's at, it's at its lowest price that it's ever been so i don't know if it could drop even more but i think the model 3 long range is going to come back into the market after they price drop the model 3 standard range down to 39.990 i think the model 3 long range is going to come in right about forty five thousand dollars so i think that is going to be the price it's going to be i think that's where it's going to land in um, uh, so definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking down below in the comments or even the live stream. Uh, and so I really feel like there is going to be an upcoming price discount and or I mean, or Tesla is just going to go to their usual strategy. They're going to add demo discounts and incentives all over the place on all these different vehicles. I mean, right now there isn't that many demo inventory out there on the t waiting for Tesla sites. And so right now there's only 10 and the discounts are pretty measly, right? A hundred bucks here, a hundred dollars there. This one's pretty nice with a $2,430 discount. But besides that, all of them are pretty much a lackluster discount at the end of the day. But we're going to jump into our next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is a Patreon link where you can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me. We can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which is the best buying guide out there to buy a Tesla that has links to all the resources and banks and credit unions that I use to get the best possible rate uh, on your Tesla, including credit unions and lists, a, a list of banks that all have interest rates lower than Tesla finance Tesla financing right now is at like a 5.59% the last time we checked. So definitely, if you want to beat that rate, check out the Patreon link down below in the description or check out some of the other videos on the channel. All right, water break. 